Hey, Debbie Holloway here. So excited about what's to come. Wanted to share with you something that I posted on our Facebook page. Vulnerability, mastery. Vulnerability, mastery. And, and preparing for our wire event, which I have to say I am incredibly excited about, and I'm going to share some more with about it with you in a second. Um, I really got into and the whole communication and how we communicate and the whole leadership part of the event we're going to do. And I found something that talked about the five, the five ways to understand our vulner vulnerability and move forward. Number one, it said was build self-esteem. You know, when we're young, we tend to, or maybe we're taught to, hide our emotions. And Brene Brown, I think, said it best. Vulnerability is the core of our struggle for worthiness. Think about that. It is the core of our struggle for worthiness, but it appears that it's also the birthplace of joy, creativity, belonging, and love. That one you might want to write down. Number two, love your weaknesses. Listen, they're only real weaknesses because they get in the way of what we want to do. That's all. I mean, we live in a world that tends to focus really on what could be improved rather than what's really great about us. If we reframe our weaknesses, which are distinct from vulnerabilities, because weaknesses are the, are the result of circumstances out of our control, you can show the world who you really are and then try something like being vulnerable. Even if the outcome is uncertain, we got to try. If we always lived in being closed off and afraid to be vulnerable, how happy can our lives really be? The second thing was focus on excellence, not perfection. I mean, sorry, number three, focus on excellence, not perfection. What's that saying we hear all the time? Done is better than perfect. Well, it's true. The difference between perfection and excellence is that you, with excellence, you accept the failure and the mistakes and you learn from them. Whereas with perfection, you never admit weakness. Everything must be perfect. No one has all the answers, but I can guarantee you that perfection is not the answer. It is probably one of the things that get us, gets us the most stressed and gives us anxiety. Number four, dare to be your authentic self. Being authentic means you behave in ways that are true to you and emotions rather than showing the side of you that you think people expect to see. And ladies, we do this so much. We put on that mask. We be who we be who we think people want us to be. Consider practicing this. Pursuing your passions a little more. Listening to your inner voice. Making decisions that align with your core values and beliefs. Setting healthy boundaries and that I think that is probably the most important statement in what I read and what I'm saying to you. I'm reading a great book about a gentleman who uh, breaks and rides horses and it's what horses taught him about leadership and one of the things he said in the chapter I just recently read was horses set healthy boundaries in a herd. We don't set healthy boundaries at home at work, on our team. I want you to think about that because we're going to be talking about that one at WIRE. Number five in the last one is find connection. And this can be tricky in a work environment, and I get that. What you have to do is you have to start by recognizing that the unique contributions of everyone in your office or on your team or within your family, they are important. And instead of becoming disappointed and frustrated, consider the human elements at play. Let me tell you, I know this is a hard one, but what I also know is this is a really important one. Finding connections, which is why our wire has such a great, is such a great ecosystem. The connections we have here, the women that you can just pick up the phone and say, hey, I need help with this, or hey, I, I'm doing this, what would you do? Those kind of relationships, well, it, it it enables us to have a great culture where people are seen, heard, and respected on our team, in our office, in our women's organization. So to lead into that, April 13th and 14th, 
The VIP tickets are all sold out, but there's still plenty of tickets available. I wanted to let you know that I'm going to arrive on Tuesday to get things set up. Thursday, day one, is one to five. That's a lot of conversation on leadership and some fun exercises we're going to do. Day two is 8.30 to 5, lunch is included. Now, those of you that are staying over, I'm going to stay through Sunday. On Saturday, there's a group of us that are going to go for a hike and then go to the spa. Um, we'll, we'd love to include you. If you'd like to come, just let me know. Some of the things we're going to cover besides our leadership part of the program, Shannon Gillette, is going to, who's a phenomenal agent, is going to share creative ways to get more listings. Who wouldn't want more listing appointments? Then Carolyn Young, phenomenal woman, is going to share the best listing presentation ever, and you'll be able to email her and get a copy of it. Paige Sharnock is going to talk to us about how to diversify our lead sources. See, it wasn't that important when the market was crazy, but now it is. We're going to have a panel on investing. Um, I've got Annette Muse of Bank of America that's going to talk about diversifying your investments and wealth building. I don't think we talk enough about wealth building as women. Um, we're going to talk about building a scalable and saleable business and fingers crossed I may have a special guest speaker for you. Um, the act, the QR code for tickets is right here on the wire page as is the link to get the discounted hotel rate. Join us. It's going to be an incredible event and you all know those of you that have been to wire before it's a great opportunity to meet other women, to share with other women, and to grow. I hope you will join us at WIRE, and if nothing else, think about what we just talked about. I think there's a lot of great information there for us, because I think being vulnerable is really important to being able to get to being able to master what we want to master. Brene Brown, and this is a great, I guess I'm paraphrasing a quote of hers, she said, we are all afraid. We just have to get to the point where we understand it doesn't mean that we cannot, that we can't also be brave. You can be afraid, you can be vulnerable, and you can still be brave. Think about that, ladies. Make it a great week.